Now, we all know Rome wasn't built in a day, but what if it was? As I'm currently building all seven of the wonders of the world, it's time to build the Colosseum. Now, I picked a pretty nice spot to put this. It's not too far away from the base, but if we fly this way, past the raid farm, all the way until you reach the first bit of land, we come across this really nice flat area that we can use. And this is going to be a huge build, so this is a really nice area to do this in. Now, to build this, I'm going to need a bunch of sandstone and a bunch of birch wood. The sandstone I should have covered from building pyramids, because I overestimated how much I needed but the birch wood we're gonna have to do some mining so that's what we're gonna start with I've been mining birch wood for way too long but I think I might just have enough now this has been the spot right here not too far away from the base but I think I have enough except the only issue is none of this is stripped and I need all of it to be stripped so that's gonna be a bit tedious when I'm building this but I don't think there's an easier way to go about it but anyways now I need to head to the desert because I need to go to the mesa which is right next to our desert to get some red sandstone so that's where I'm going next all right let's do this this should be everything. It's a lot of shulker boxes. Honestly, it might not be everything, but I'm gonna hope it's everything. It's time to say goodbye to the base for a while. Just like when I was building the pyramids, it's gonna be a minute since I return. Now, the first thing I wanna do is change the area, or at least the area that's gonna be on the outside of the Colosseum, to something that's not grass, because then it'll just be like the Colosseum sitting in a field, and it's gonna look kind of weird. So that's why I brought these materials. I got cobblestone, gravel, and andesite. Hopefully, this will look nice as like a stone path on the outside perimeter. If not, I'll sort something else out but this this should look nice so yeah that's what i'm gonna start off with doing let's go okay so i was working on the floor here and this guy is a nautilus show and i think i'm actually one off getting a conduit and we don't have a conduit in the museum it's one of the only blocks we don't have so i'm flying back to the base and hopefully this will be the last one so you need eight nautilus shells to make a conduit and i think i have seven yeah i have seven okay i need some emeralds and i literally just need five they'll be fine okay let's buy this real quick and that is it now i have to fly all the way back again so i also need a heart of the sea which i think i have i might not i guess i don't have one actually i do i do i do i know exactly where it is now i remember now if i go to the museum i think i put it in an item frame should be yeah here it is so i'm gonna swap this out with a record and i need a crafting table where's the crafting table here it is make the conduit it is about time now where should i put this oh i also need to put the beacon back i forgot about that i guess uh for now i'm just gonna put this up here we can we can move it later but yes <laughs> It's not the best. It's not even activated. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. Anyways, back to the build. Alright, that took quite a while, but it should give an idea of how big uh, the Colosseum is going to be. Pretty big. Obviously, the edges aren't like rounded properly yet. I'll fix that up as I go around. But this is the general size and shape of it, which is huge. This is going to be such a big project. But... It is time to actually begin building this because technically I haven't even started. And I'm going to start by doing just the just the pillars and where each arch or like opening is going to be. And I'll come back and explain what I'm doing. So yeah, let's go. I think this looks good. This is going to be where every arch is. So there'll be a way to get in on every single one of these, which I don't know how accurate that is, if those are like accessible or not, but they're going to be for mine. Now what I'm going to do is add the actual arches. So it's going to look something like this. But I have to do this on every single thing, but that's what it's going to look like on everything. So yeah, I better get going with that then. Let's do it. I 
think this is starting to come along. Now you can see the arches that I was talking about. I think it looks pretty nice. I also added this outer layer on the exterior that will just run at some depth. But now is the fun part. What I have to do is extend this layer again. So I'm going to do it on top of this. So this goes up and there's another arch around it. Obviously not at this scale. This is this is not what it's going to look like. But this whole thing is going to be pushed up a level to have two levels. That's what that does. Yeah. So this is going to be very fun. If only we could copy and paste because that would definitely help here. But it is what it is. Let's do this. Now this is starting to come along having a second layer really like it's starting to look like what we're going for here which is really good but i still got a long way to go so next what i need to do is add there's like a wall that goes up here and it's kind of it's like a different color so i'm gonna use red sandstone but it pretty much just goes up here and follows through kind of it kind of looks like that. you guys will see but then it'll have like a third layer it'll look nice and it'll start looking really nice so yeah that's what i'm gonna do let's do it Now this is looking like an arena. Right of this extra layer is supposed to be like the ruined kind of aspects of it. I guess the whole thing is ruined, but this one has like parts where there's holes in the walls and stuff. I think they're meant to be windows, but there's like cracks like that. I tried making it as accurate as possible, but since the scale is obviously a bit different, I couldn't be entirely accurate. I also built it and realized that it was way too high. So I lowered it like two blocks and I think it looks pretty good. Half of this is going to be blocked anyway, because these are the pillars where it's going to extend even further. So we're going to have arches just like these ones going across this way all along this side so this whole side around there up until the halfway point will have exactly the same columns like this two more times which is a lot of columns but in order for this video to see the light of day i'm gonna have to end it here this video may be shorter than usual but it has taken so long to do this not only getting the design of the circle first of all which still didn't really turn out like a circle how i wanted to but i think it's okay but then the archways and figuring out the design of it but then getting the materials of it which i'm also running a bit low and I have to do some more grinding and then actually building it. It has taken a very long time, but hopefully in the next episode, we can finish the exterior of it. And then the one after we'll get the interior done. But yeah, I guess with that, uh, that is where I'm going to end today's video. I think, I think this is a lot of progress. I think this is, this satisfies my requirements for progress. Again, Rome was not built in a day, so neither will it be in Minecraft. But yeah, that is where I'm going to end today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Later. That's what I